welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. I'm here today with a really quick makeup tutorial to show you how to do the L smoky eyes, nice skin, bit of hair, happy days. Yeah, I wore this um, makeup look. I've worn it now quite a bit actually. I've worn it a few nights out and a few events. And I just love it. I just love like a really nice smoky eye um, without being black. And it's just, it's a nice purple and it makes my eyeballs look really green. And yeah, so really quick. So if you want to see how to do this makeup look, keep watching. Okay, we're going to start off with the Darfan CC Cream. It's one of my favourite CC creams and it's really lightweight and it goes on so nice and smoothly on the skin. I'm using this as the Nima brush. This is the round top um, Kabuki brush. This is like my holy grail foundation brush at the moment. Love it. It is beating the Real Techniques buffing brush. I know. Pretty big thing to say, I know. But um, the CC Cream, it just evens out my skin tone really nicely and it lets my skin shine through because in summer I don't like to wear too heavy foundation because oh just because it's so warm and um like sweaty I just hate when I feel clammy and I feel like I've loads of product on my face so um I love that it is and you make the most attractive faces when you're doing this don't you and just take it all blend it all in I think this is the shade light and no it's really nice really like the packaging it's really good for traveling as well you know if you're somebody who goes away on holidays and then um likes to wear foundation when you're out in bed. I don't because I just sweat like a mofo. So that is all blended in. You see it's just even at the skin tone, covered with redness and if it helps my skin in the anti-aging process, happy days because we need the help, all the help that we can get. So I've just zoomed in a little bit more. So I'm going to use the Soap and Glory Archery um, Brow Pencil because my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow doodah has kicked the bucket so I'm just waiting for like another one to um, I kind of ordered one the other day um, from Cult Beauty so I can't wait for it because I just nothing else compares to it Jenna yeah, this has like two ends like one end is the pencil and the one end is this little marker and that's the one that I'm using now because it just gives a really natural finish to the brows because I can't do I don't think I can pull off like really strong brows other people can but I cannot but the only thing that I don't like about this one is that it dries out really quickly so you have to kind of work fast so let's do this one shall we Listen, that's going to do. I don't even care about my brows right now. <clears throat> okay, next I'm going to use this um, Kiko, what is it called? Kiko Long Lasting Stick Eyeshadow. And I did a review on this recently. This is the shade 05 um, Rosy Brown. And this is a dupe for one of the By Terry Ombre Black Stars. And I'll leave the link below where I compare the two. And you can see the before and after photos. And you cannot tell the difference. I don't care what you say. So what I like to do is I like to just cover the whole eyelid with that like kind of quite thickly and then I just use my finger to blend it out um, a little bit because this is we're just going to use this as a base today I'm going to stick more eyeshadows on we're going to have one of those days where more is more and then I'm just using like the Nima this is the Nima brush it's like a little blending eyeshadow brush it's really nice and it's quite dense and it's perfect for blending out kind of cream eyeshadow products so I kind of just blend it like so Cream eye products are great um, in the summer because it means if it's going to rain or um, just be humid, they just stay put. They just stay put longer than um, powders, which is good. Except this one creases on me, but so does the By Terry one. So that's why I don't mind um, what you call it, like they're dupes for each other because they both perform the exact same on me, in that they both crease, but they both are the same color, pretty much. So just blend that out lightly. Is it even? No. Hold on, need to put more here. Like that. And then blend like a move boo. And like once these set, they set, they don't move at all. Um, and that's the only thing that annoys me is because they crease on me and so once they crease, then I can't blend it back in, but sure, what can you do? I'm just gonna bring it underneath while we're here, just on the outer half and blend and that's it you could actually leave it like that and then just put mascara on if you wanted so then what i like to do is i get the smashbox Santi gold palette this is earth as we know it and i like to take this color this is like a burgundy browny color with like gold shimmer running through it and it's amazing so just get it on like a flat shader brush and then i just take a little bit like that and then i just pat it on the outer edge because you want to kind of make a smoky eye 
and you can see that it's just really pigmented when it sticks to the the base. You can bring it down along the um, upper lashes if you want. You could do whatever you want. I don't care. So I kind of like to look forward and um, to see if I need to bring it the eyeshadow out any further or up any further because I've quite hooded lids. So if I did that, like it would be great. But I have hooded lids, so I just kind of I need to kind of bring it up higher. So it's just left forward, but also in the viewfinder of the camera. I kind of leave it like that because then I'm going to blend it shortly. So I'll just do the other eye quickly. Oh my god, I just love this eyeshadow so much. I think it's like my favourite part of the whole palette. Except for the navy one as well. I'm going to do a blog post about the palette soon. Um, because it needs lovage. Smoky eyes always look scarier before you start the whole blending process. So do not worry. And I, do you know what? While I'm here, I'm going to bring it on the outer side as well. The outer edge underneath. So just get a clean blending brush. This is a MAC 217 or something along that lines. And you just blend the outer edges. And I like to blend it where the um, Smashbox eyeshadow meets the Kiko eyeshadow as well. Just to make sure that everything looks seamless. Oh, I love this. I just think this is such a really nice going out look. Because you're like, you know, smoky eyes don't have to be black. You know, you can still have the drama without looking like a big, dirty big panda. So sometimes I need to add more um of the burgundy eyeshadow just on the top there so I just dipped this brush into it and just kind of took a little bit more so that I could blend it in more because I need when I look forward I need for the eyeshadow to be kind of higher otherwise my parallel eyes will just look teeny weeny. I'm just going to tidy under the eyes a little bit so I'm going to take the NYX um, HD ooh, the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer which is pretty nice concealer it's nice and liquidy and it blends really easily. I do that and then I take this brush, I don't know what it is, I think it's a crown brush, it's quite big and it's nice for um, blending concealer under the eyes. You can use your finger if you want as well. So I find this one, it's nice, it blends really easily and it also, um, you have to set it because um, it creases on me and like I, like it always creases kind of there under my bags but um, it's a really nice concealer, kind of covers up the dark circles nicely does what you want and you can use that to tidy up the edges if you'd like as well. Uh, uh, uh. And do that face. When you're doing the concealer. And I'm going to go back in with this shade from the Full Exposure palette just on that thick brush and just use it as like the brow highlight. Just add a bit more light and it also you can use it to blend the edges here to make sure that everything is blends seamlessly. I like this one because it's not too shimmery, like it gives a bit of a pearl finish, but it is nice. And I just totally brought it under my eyes by mistake. Oh well, what are you going to do? Okay, mascara time, and we're going to use the Bourjois One Second Volume, no, what is it called? Volume One Second Mascara because I love it. And it just gives like loads of volume and length and thickness and curl. And it's just one of my favourite mascaras of the year so far. So I have to try and do this so you can see it and that I don't poke myself in the eyeball. I like this. The wand is pretty big. Is her hair? The wand is pretty big, but it just means like you just have to be a little bit careful going on the inner corners. I always like add lots of mascara to my outer edges of the lashes because I like to, to go like swoosh like that. And then I can take it, oops, and then I can take it below as well. I wore this look in my July favourites and also to the Her.ie Awards. Oh god. I keep mascara in my hair. Like every time like one little bit will come down and then I end up mascaring it. See that on there? Go away. Um, yeah I just wore it on those two nights out and it was just oh, I just really liked it I think did I wear it to the L'Oreal colour top I don't know I just like it because it's like more it's like on the purple side of things it makes my eyeballs look really green wouldn't you say look out to mascara I'll just add one because of the effort of life and that is your eyeballs done Okay, time for cheeks next. And I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient um, Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion, one of my favorites. Because I don't want like a lot going on on the cheeks because there's a lot going on with the eyes. So this is this one. Oh, and I love it so much. And also, the fact that I love this, it gives like a bit of, it gives you a bit of color, but also the powder and it gives you um, a grand bit of glow. We like the bit of glow. I'm using, this is the Pink Avenue Angled um, Blush Brush. 
and it's stuff. I swear to God, this looks demented in camera and like in person you can barely see it. Mm. Anyway, I really like this combination and it just gives, oh, it just gives my skin like luminosity but also cheekbones. Look, no, but um, I love a dim infusion. And I know I've been kind of, I'm gonna bring it up there just because I'm crazy. Um, I've been kind of looking at magenta, the magenta one, I can't remember what it's called. And I'm like, do I need it? Do I not? No, I don't need it. But I want it. But then, like in pictures, it looks coral on people. But then when I put on my hand, it looks um, very pink. And I, you know me and my peaches and my corals. Why am I actually adding more blush on? Because I looked demented in camera. Honestly, if you could see me in the mirror, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that strong. It looks like I'm wearing no blush at all. But that's it. It just gives like a really nice healthy glow. And then to continue on the healthy glow, I'm using my diffused light, the ambient powder. I've had this for ages, so I use it almost every day. And look, I still have millions left. And I use it on my Real Techniques, what is it called? Powder brush. Powder brush, yeah. And I just dot it in. And again, this keeps shine at bay. It keeps my um, skin looking matte. Oh, it's too much hair. Keeps my skin looking matte. And I use it as well. I use more of it to set the under eye concealer just to make sure it doesn't crease and doesn't go south. I don't use it really like over where the, I put the blush. Does where I would need it to stop the shine so I don't shine bright like a diamond. Now, one of my favourite lipsticks at the moment is MAC Patisserie and it's a really nice nude because there's a lot going on in the eyes. You don't want anything too doolally on the lips. So I just do this. Listen to me. So I just put Patisserie on the lips. It's just one of those really nice natural nude shades that isn't that isn't concealer -y lipsies or um too warm or too cool. I just love it. And then I'm going to top it with NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee because I want to. These smell gorgeous. It smells like caramel. And that's the makeup look done. Easy peasy, isn't it? Like what, about like five things that we used and that's everything. But this is just a really nice dramatic smoky eye bit of something on the cheeks, looks mad in the camera, not in real life, um, and a nice neutral lip, and that's it. That's the makeup done, we're ready. You're like, I could go out now if I wanted to, except it's Saturday afternoon, and I'd look demented if I went to cost cutter with this on my eyes. You could put, if you wanted, um, a bit of black eyeliner in the waterline to even make it, will we do that? Come on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use a Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Eyeliner, and it's one of these ones, you hear that? That means it's just sharpened itself, and it does, it's brilliant. And this is great, this is great for the waterline and you can also smudge it on the top but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the waterline just because. It's also very important to make that ugly face. And I like to, when I'm using cold eyeliner like this, I kind of like to smudge it into the, the roots of the lashes. And it will stay put. Oh my god, that's like dramatic. Not so much dramatic. Let's go out drinking. Let's not. And that's it. Even more dramatic. Ooh, this is just a really easy smoky eye. And if I can do this, anybody can, because we all know that I have very limited skills in the makeup. I do love the makeup, but this is about the extent of like the talent that I have. Um so yeah, easy peasy. Let me know if you try this. <laughs>